Good morning, everyone. Jance from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining us out here, enjoying this beautiful, chilly morning out here in the desert. And today I decided to make a video on 10 gift ideas for Christmas. So Christmas is looming ever closer, and maybe you have somebody in your family, a loved one, a spouse, that they're really into the everyday carry mentality. So, you know, maybe they're an outdoorsman, maybe they're a prepper, or you, maybe you yourself want to get somebody, a loved one, into taking these things a little bit more serious. Now, if there's one lesson that we learned in the year 2020 is prepare for the unexpected. So everybody that scoffed at people carrying flashlights or a multi-tool, now's the time for them to take these things a little bit more serious. So these are 10 gifts that I think are subtle everyday carry gifts that once again are welcome additions to someone who's a veteran at this stuff. But at the same time, these are great items that can be given to somebody that's a newbie into this whole lifestyle. So I hope you're excited. I think we have some really good finds here. So thank you for joining me. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start it off with item number one. Now keep in mind, the this order is not in any form of significance or priority, so they're just 10 items randomly, okay? So don't think this is the least important or anything like that. Uh, but this is one of my favorites personally, and we're talking about the Swiss Army Knife Cadet Alox. So this is by the company Victorinox. Of course, if you're an outdoorsman, you know Swiss Army Knives are great blades with the rich history and you know just a great reputation. Uh, I really love them. And these, I think, are a great gift for someone barely getting into the outdoors or just being prepared. I mean, this is a very small multi-tool. It's not the end-all, be-all, you know, the ultimate Leatherman or anything like that. But, you know, just to carry this with you in your pocket every day is really going to make a difference. So not only does this look good, it's also very thin and lightweight, not gonna be cumbersome. Uh, you put this in your pocket and almost forget it's there. But it has a cool little spear point blade right there. Um, as well, you have bottle opener for when it's party time. And then you have a small flathead screwdriver. You have a can opener. So once again, everyday carry, whether you're just at home in the kitchen making some tuna salad or you're out once again on a camping trip or backpacking, this is going to be co coming in handy. And then a smaller flathead screwdriver up here. And then last item of all is a small nail file. So this is really good for hygiene right here, this file, as well as this little spear point blunt tip that you can you know get under your nails. So once again, not the biggest, not the, once again, the, the most elaborate of multi-tools, but something for a beginner. This is going to slip into their pocket and it's going to be useful. So this runs you about 35 to $40. Keep in mind, it's made in Switzerland. It's high quality, so it's well worth the price and it's not going to break the bank. I'm, I'm trying to keep all these items less than about $70. Most of them are very low within the $30, $40 range. Uh, there's a one or two that it is a little higher, but for the most part, I'm keeping it budget friendly and they're all available on our Amazon store down below. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these items, I'll have the links down below where you can purchase some. And then that also throws a couple cents our way to help us keep getting out here and having adventures, guys. So let's move on to the next one. Moving on to item number two, and that's going to be these really handsome wool gloves by Minus 33. So I never made a review on these because what are you going to do reviewing <laughs> gloves, right? There's not much ways of testing it. However, I can attest that I have been using these. I got them in October of 2019. So it's officially been longer than a year and I very much enjoy them. They're made out of wool. So they're going to be a lot more warmer and more durable than the rinky dink gloves that you get like at Walmart or Target. 
and uh, I think they're really good looking. Once again, the company is called Minus 33. I hope you're able to see that correctly. And like I said, they're very handsome, but at the same time, they're just really functional. I personally like the fingerless glove design um, because they're, unlike mittens, they're gonna allow dexterity. So if I'm still cooking while I'm camping, if I'm still you know, using my knife, whittling, I'm still able to use my hands, uh, but at the same time, it's keeping me warm. And even if the person you're shopping for isn't necessarily an outdoorsman or they're not really going out to fish or anything like that during winter time, uh, these are still going to be useful, especially a lot of you guys who live in colder regions than us, like the East Coast that's at this point being bombarded with the snowstorm. This is going to be useful for years to come. Gloves are one of those things that nobody really thinks to get somebody. They kind of seem a little boring, but at the same time, once you have them, like the multi-tool, they will, you know, they'll be very thankful that you got it for them. Uh, they just goes in the pocket of your coat, and there we go. And they're not that expensive. I think I bought a, bought them for about 25 bucks on Amazon, and they are well worth the price because I'm always cold. Moving on to item number three, and this is a cool little keychain flashlight, the Nightcore Tiny 2. This little thing right here, like I said, goes on your flashlight. It's lightweight, it's not cumbersome, it's not heavy. Uh, so I think this is really great. Now, when I was thinking about making this list, I thought that this would be great for a woman in your life, whether it's your girlfriend, your wife, your daughter. Ladies tend to roll their eyes more towards the whole everyday carry concept. You know, so carrying a knife, a flashlight, anything like that, they tend to not do it, right? Which is ironic because they carry purses and they have like a ton of useless crap in there. But I digress. So us gearheads tend to have something like this, right? We always have a flashlight on our person, probably a secondary one on our pack or haversack. Ladies are not like that. They think that, you know, they have a flashlight on their cell phone. But this is much stronger than that. Now, of course, being broad daylight, you're not really gonna be able to see this in action right now. I do have a review on this particular light coming in a couple of weeks, but for now I'm gonna cut right here with some B-roll so you can see just how strong this thing can be. For being so small, it can pack a punch much stronger than the light from a cell phone. And once again, for ladies, I think this is really great in case of an emergency or you know they drop their keys in a dark parking lot or there's a creep nearby, something as you know simple as a flashlight can deter them from you know whatever the situation may happen so not only that but this is also usb rechargeable so you don't got to worry about getting you know those those little round flashlight uh, i'm sorry those batteries or anything like that you know so it's going to pay for itself in the long run and i'm really enjoying this so far so once again a cool little flashlight cool source of illumination which is very underrated in modern day society but you know a, a blackout a power outage uh if you're traveling and you get you know you stranded in the middle of the road, you know, something like that, that this is gonna be very useful. So moving on to item number four is this Nightcore Energy Brick NB10,000. And I do have a review, so check it out. I'll post it up above if you haven't checked it out. And I really enjoy this thing. This has quickly become a crucial must-have for my everyday carry. Uh, so in case you don't know, an energy brick, that, that's their fancy word of saying it's a power bank. So this thing, you connect it, and it's going to be charging your electronics, such as your cell phone, your flashlight, all that stuff. Of course, everybody and their mother uses cell phones, um, uses their electronics, you know, whether it's everyday stuff like entertainment, or you're using apps that you need, like uh, maps, for example. Or like me, you're using it to film videos, which is our job. So it's very useful for that. At the same time, you know, when you're camping, you're gonna need to charge your lanterns, your electronic lanterns and stuff like that. So it's gonna be useful. I like that carbon fiber outer shell. I like how thin it is, how lightweight it is. This thing rides on my haversack. Or now that it's colder and we have, you know, we're using our coats, it's so thin and lightweight. Let's put it in the pocket and you forget it's even there. So moving on to item number five, and we're talking about the Nalgene water bottle. Now this is a wide mouth 32 ounce water bottle. This is made in the USA, guys. So for all of you who talk smack about China and you wanna support American business, here's your chance. Now, when it comes to a water bottle, I know it's a little bit boring for a gift. You know, you just like the gloves, you know, you're, you're gonna think about something more exciting, but at the same, at the same time, guys, 
everybody drinks water it's it's essential whether everyday stuff like running errands going to work going to the gym or you're out hiking backpacking camping or god forbid you do need it in a you know in a, an emergency situation you're always going to want a container with you if you haven't seen my bug out bag video i actually have one of these in there because once again you want to stay hydrated and uh once again made in the usa i like that this one has the measurement back here in case you wanted to add something to it to your bottle uh, for example we've shown before how to add bleach droplets on here to make water drinkable in case you got it from a wild water source and it's about 12 bucks guys 12 bucks for something american made far better quality plastic than you know a lot of people that that just buy disposable water bottles that you know they drink half of it then throw the rest away and in my opinion you know, of course that's that's very wasteful uh, for the environment so something like this you're getting a superior item that they're going to be able to carry with them every day so uh, another item that I think is really overlooked is a good Nalgene water bottle so item number six is one of my favorite items of all time and we're talking about the Mora Consbol fixed blade now I tried to kind of avoid knives in this lineup in general I think all the other channels are really going to focus on that uh, so for the most part I wanted to avoid knives but I think this one's great for everybody so in case you didn't know which I mean I think if you've been watching Junkyard Box for any length of time you'll know that I love this knife Pound for pound, cent for cent, I would say that this knife is the best big blade knife on the market today. I love it so much. Uh, I have a review on it, so check it out. I've also, I think I should just make a playlist of all the different videos I've used this knife with because I've done so many things with it and I have zero complaints. So a question I get a lot from viewers is, James, I'm starting to get into camping, starting to get into bushcraft prepping, or I want to introduce uh, a family member like my son into all this stuff. What's a good knife without breaking the bank? And I always tell them the Mora Consble. The Mora knives in general tend to be really affordable and really high quality. Everybody knows that. But the Consble, I think, stands above all of them. So this knife runs you about $35 to $40, but I think it's well worth the price. So this knife is one of the reasons I really enjoy it for beginners is because it's going to be a knife that is resilient. It's not going to require a lot of maintenance. So the plastic and rubber handle are not only comfortable, but they don't require as much care as, say, wooden handles like a condor knife. At the same time, the steel is 12C27 steel, which is a stainless. It doesn't rust. Um, it's very, very strong, um, and it sharpens easily. So it doesn't, once again, doesn't require a lot of care. A Scandinavian grind here for woodworking, whittling, that kind of stuff, notching. At the same time, it goes down, tapers down into a flat grind, which is going to be great for chopping up veggies, food, processing game. Killer 90 degree spine. And the sheath is really great as well. Sheaths tend to be something that's a weakness for Mora. But I think this one, they just nailed it. The retention is great. Keep in mind, this is this knife is going on going on five years at this point that I've owned it. The retention is still great. Once again, it's plastic, so it doesn't require a lot of maintenance. You can tell that there's a lot of love, a lot of adventures I've used this knife on, but it's still holding on very strong. Once again, great for beginners without being too expensive. I also think it's great for a veteran, someone who's been doing the outdoor thing, the prepping thing for decades, I think this is still going to be a welcome addition to have in a uh, in their tackle box, for example, or their emergency bag, uh, get home bag, that kind of stuff. I think it's going to be a great, great blade for that. So uh, enough gushing for this knife, but yeah, more Consble. Great gift idea. So moving on to item number seven. Now we already discussed two different knives, the Swiss Army knife and the Mora knife. If you're gonna be using a knife, you're gonna to wanna to keep it honed and maintain it while out in the field. So that's why I like this. This is from Victorinox, the same company that makes the Swiss Army knives, of course. And I got this for about 15 bucks on Amazon. I really enjoy this little honing rod. So you run your blade on here and it just you know, keeps maintains it, you know, so it's not, it's going to keep it from getting dull while you're out using it. Now, of course, I'm sure like everybody, you know, you have your certain ways of sharpening your knives at home. But this is if you're out in the field. So you can carry this in your haversack, in your pocket, something like that. And it's just not, you know, not going to be too heavy or cumbersome. Not going to be taking a lot of space on your pack. But it is useful. 
I have bought diamond rods from other companies, small ones like these, from like Mora, for example, and I did not like them. They're just too aggressive, all that stuff. But this one's just that perfect middle. It comes with this little sleeve. I'm pretty sure this was meant to be disposable, but I ended up keeping it so it's not banging around and I risk uh, damaging it. So I just place it on here and it just rides in my haversack. So once again, I'm out camping, bushcrafting, and I kind of just want to hone in my knife because I'm going to process a game or something like that. This is going to be very useful. Moving on to item number eight, and this is going to be a very brief segment because it's daytime, so you can't really show it in action too much. I'm talking about the Yuko Rechargeable Madrone Lantern. So I have a review on this. I'll have post up here, so be sure to check it out so you can see it in action. I'm also going to rely a little bit on B-roll here so you can see it because, of course, with the broad daylight, you can't really see the, the range in its illumination. But I really like that. You can adjust it. Not only that, but I like how versatile that this lantern is. Not only is this USB rechargeable, you open up this little flap, connect it at home, you know when it's going to charge up so you don't got to worry about batteries. At the same time, it doubles as a battery bank. Connect your phone, connect it here, or connect your flashlights, for example, and it's going to charge them. Now, this is not a dedicated battery bank, so don't expect it to be, you know, filling up everything. However, it does come in handy. Other than that, I like that there's a compartment at the bottom. So you can put your valuables, your wedding ring, uh, money, anything like that in here. Uh, it comes with a charging cord. And then lastly, I like the bottom that it is magnetic. So I'm hanging this up on a branch while camping, right? But then I need it. I need to go, you know, whatever the case may be. I can just remove this. It's a magnet. This remains on the branch. Once I'm done using it for whatever I need to use it, I'll bring it back. Connected. Really strong magnet. Once again, I like that. I also hang this inside my tent sometimes. So in case I'm still going to read a book or something before I go to bed, it's still going to be useful. I adjust the setting here on the light. So I really enjoy it. Once again, great for everyday carry in terms of, you know, you're going to go camping or hiking, uh, that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it's useful in an emergency as well. So a great item, perhaps not the best beginner everyday carry item, but this one's more focused towards somebody that is, you know, a known outdoorsman, a known prepper. As for item number nine, this is a game changer for me. Now I'm late to the party, so there's many videos on YouTube, many other channels that talk about this, but I'm new to it. Uh, I'm talking about the MSR Pocket Rocket portable gas stove right here. As you saw it at the beginning, it helped me heat up some water so I can make some coffee. It was very cold this morning, and this was just very useful. So realistically, guys, I'm very stubborn. And I just want to have a campfire when I'm out camping, whatever the case may be. But a lot of places, they don't either allow you to have a campfire. For example, when there's fire bans, we do live in the desert, guys. So we got to be careful with managing campfires. Um, there's plenty of parks that we've just never bothered to camp there because they don't allow campfires. And, you know, this is going to change that. Not only that, but this is convenient as well. Sometimes we don't want to make a fire, you know, as much as I want to do it, sometimes I just don't have the energy for it. You just unscrew it. After a little bit of finagling, we close this up and it comes with this plastic container. And now this you could just put away on your haversack and your vehicle, your backpack, and it's going to be durable. It's going to be taken care of. All you got to do is be replacing these tanks. But, you know, any big store, any sporting goods store will have these. Uh, so the MSR Pocket Rocket, I still need more time before I'm comfortable with making a review on it. Let me know if you're interested in a review. Um, and I think it's going to be a great gift. And this one, maybe not for the beginner, you know, not an introductory gift for someone, but someone who has been doing the outdoor thing for, for decades, your grandpa, for example, uh, your dad. I think this is a really cool little item to provide to them. And at the same time, once again, great for an emergency as well. And last but not least, a little bit of some shameless self-promotion is a Cuervo Negro Velcro patch. So for those of you who don't know, Cuervo Negro is my best friend. He is the camera of this channel. He's also the music composer. And this year we made some Cuervo Negro patches 
and once again it's velcro so you can place these on your haversack for example uh, great music uh, I know a ton of you guys love his jams in fact he's now on Spotify iTunes and the Amazon store as well guys so uh, this year we really focused on business and you know capitalizing on our on our talent um, because it does take money to get out here especially with all the the way economy is uh, so if you want to check out his music and you don't necessarily want to watch Junkyard Fox videos, Gorvo Negro, once again, is now streaming music. So you can check out his albums there. And, of course, a little bit of merch. Show some love our way. Throw a couple cents our way so we can keep getting out here and filming great videos for you guys. So uh, these are selling for $8. And it's free shipping anywhere. So let us know. Uh, comment down below or I'll have the link down below for Gorvo Negro's Instagram so you can shoot him a message. And so he can start sending these out to you. Uh, now, this one may not be for the everyday carry newbie that maybe doesn't know about Junkyard Fox. But somebody who is a fan of Junkyard Fox or you're watching and you want to get yourself something unique merch from us. Here we go. And we sincerely appreciate every single sale. We appreciate all your support. Well, folks, that is about the conclusion of this video. I hope these ideas were helpful. I know we're about two weeks away from Christmas, so it's getting about crunch time to find that perfect gift for somebody. But once again, the, I think this is a good amount, a wide array of good everyday carry items. So whether it's somebody that you want to introduce to everyday carry, like something as simple as a Nalgene bottle or perhaps a Swiss Army knife, or maybe it's somebody in your life that's an outdoor veteran, your dad, for example, your husband, something like the MSR Pocket Rocket or the Yuko Rechargeable Lantern are going to be good options for that as well. All the links to all these items are going to be in the description box below uh, for Amazon. You can purchase them there. And then once again, using those links, help us out. Throw a couple cents our way so we can keep getting out here and having adventures. And that's about it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and comment down below if you did decide to purchase something. What is it? Or if you have an additional suggestion. Did I forget something, for example? So let me know. Give us a thumbs up, guys. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. I hope these next couple weeks, guys, you guys get some relief from how harsh this year was and you're nice and cozy and safe and having a great time with your family, guys. I really do mean that. Thank you so much for all the support you've given us, all the love. And, I mean, it's going to get better from here, guys. It's going to be the year's almost over and may we have many more adventures to come. So thank you once more. We'll see you guys next week. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.